All right, so today we are finally gonna be taking on the new Worldwide Celebration Special Edition Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash featuring all new enemies as well as Cooler as the final boss. Now as always, I have put a timer over my head for those of you that wanna race me to see if you can finish it faster than I can. And yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. Now I do have to make a few minor adjustments to my teams here for the new LRs, so for Extreme STR, I think I'm going to kick out, uh, let's do the STR Super Boo and put in, of course, the LR Final Form Cooler. And then for Super Tech, uh, let's see, who is the worst unit we have selected here? Probably, actually, definitely, <laughs> the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, he will eventually get an Extreme Z Awakening, but right now he is just hot garbage, unfortunately. So yeah, we're gonna put in the Bird Coup. There we go, and we are officially ready to go. So for the first enemy, we are facing the STR Bardock, who is immune to being stunned, and of course reduces damage received. That's fine. And I'm gonna go for a Ginyu Force team, as I usually do for the first enemy. So let's do the Ginyu Goku, LR Ginyu Force, and the rest of the squad. So guys, yeah, I'm gonna start the timer now and start the race in three, two, one, a go. And we are officially in. Now, if you guys are a little bit confused about how or when I got the LR Super Saiyan Goku, aka Bird Coup. Uh, make sure to go check out the. Yo, why is my game so laggy right now? Do you guys see this? Like every single time I click an orb, it takes like half a second, which is not normal. Anyways, uh, yeah, make sure to go check out that collab that I did with uh, Goresh, Toon Rami, and Oh the Hermanity from a few hours ago. Uh, it was pretty freaking awesome, and obviously that's where I got my LR Bird Coup, finally, as well as one or maybe two dupes for the Final Form Cooler. So yeah, it was definitely a very successful collab, and also just happens to be my first collab in a really long time. I don't remember what my last collab actually was on the channel or who it was with but it's been a really long time so you know if you guys have been missing the collabs and you want to see me pull some fire on that collab then make sure to go check it out I'll put a link somewhere over my head for that okay so now we're facing the Frieza and he's Fizz so let's go for uh, our extreme STR team so we're gonna be able to use our cooler very early let's do um, Broly and oh, I didn't bring Janemba. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do uh, I don't know this guy, and then we'll just grab whoever. There we go. I mean, it's only the second enemy, so I'm assuming it's not gonna be that difficult. I'm hoping we actually get the cooler on turn one because if we don't, then oh, we do, we do, perfect. Okay, so the cooler is going to beat the crap out of his his brother, which, um, you know, is something he said he wanted to do anyways, so I guess it's it's canon that we're fighting Frieza with the cooler right now. And uh, yeah, I, I think one or two supers will do it. Maybe just, oh, he's alive, damn. Okay, there's the additional, and Frieza is dead. I was kind of hoping that, like, the the, you know, extreme fizz enemy would be later on in the fight so that we could actually get a bit more of a challenge for the cooler but what can you do it just didn't really work out that way okay so two enemies down we are on level two now and we are once again fighting another frieza this time it's final form frieza who's super agl so let's go for extreme tech we're gonna do frieza uh broly and let's just grab these guys why not Okay, so at this point, I'm still basically, as you can see, using monotype teams. I think at some point in the future, 
um, given the way that like some of these events we've been seeing uh, have gone. I think at some point in the future I will be forced to maybe use category teams for Ultimate Clash, but yeah, for the time being, they're still not hard enough, and with these special edition virtual Ultimate Clashes, or... Oh wait, hold on. Did we get sealed, or... Because didn't... Didn't it show that two of our units got sealed, or... Did I see something different? Anyways, um, I thought we were going to get sealed, but I guess not, which is good. And uh, as I was saying, yeah, like with these special edition Ultimate Clashes, they're usually a little bit on the easier side because they, I think, want more people to be able to complete it so that they're not like super frustrated and angry, you know? And, uh, you know, around this time, we are getting a lot of returning players, a lot of newer players, so they do make these or tend to make these a bit more accessible, right? So. Yeah, I'm not really expecting to have any trouble here, but if there's, you know, some challenge at the end with the with the cooler, then I definitely would not mind that at all. Um, yeah, let's just grab Broly and Rosé, and then, I don't know, a couple of supports. There we go. I'd be surprised if it took us more than two rotations to beat this Goku, who is about to get an Extreme Z Awakening, by the way, this, this Namek Goku right here. Is about to get an Extreme Z Awakening, and it is going to be, I mean, pretty solid, I think. I'm not going to say glorious, because on paper, he doesn't seem that impressive. Yo, we could have saved those Int Orbs for the Rosé. That's a little bit upsetting. That would have been a nice 24 key super, probably would have one-shot him, but what can you do? Um... Yeah, so on paper, the Super Saiyan Namek Goku Extremes the Awakening looks okay. It doesn't really impress me that much, if I'm being honest. Uh, especially before the Super Saiyan transformation. It felt kind of lazy. You know, it was a very basic passive. Kind of similar to Int uh, Ultra Instinct Goku's Extremes the Awakening, actually, which I felt was also kind of lazy. But. He turned out pretty good. I think this Super Saiyan Goku is going to be just fine. The Namek Goku is going to be just fine with Extreme Sea Awakening, but um, I'm not sure how much staying power he's going to have, like how relevant relevant he'll be long term. So that remains to be seen. Oh, there's two phases here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's give a 18 key super to the cell. And yeah, Kid Buu should be able to finish him off if Cell doesn't. But yeah, um, I was honestly hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping it would be a little bit more broken. And right now, once again, we only have the on-paper details, so we can't really, you know, judge it too hard, too harshly, I guess. But he just looks like a good Extreme Z Awakening for right now. That's about as much as I can say about it. Um, the LR Full Power Frieza, kind of the same thing. I wasn't necessarily expecting the LR Full Power Frieza, the STR one, to become better than the AGL one. But yeah, with the Extreme Z Awakening, I don't really see myself using him much, <laughs> honestly. And it's just, once again, a solid Extreme Z Awakening that feels like it could have been even better. Why is everything lagging so much, man? I don't understand. It's only when I click the orbs too. It's not like during the actual animations there's lag which would have been a much bigger problem. But nonetheless, it's really annoying. Like, I never get this. You know, maybe I need to restart my phone or restart my computer or or both. I guess we're not going to do that now, but I'll probably do it after we do this run. Either way, we're making good time. <laughs> we're making good time, so I'm not concerned from the race perspective. I think I'll, I'll set a pretty good time. Um, maybe not beat like some of you you whales out there, you speedrunners out there, but I think I'ma have a respectable time nonetheless. So we're on level three already. We're only eight minutes in. Let's take down uh, Mecha Frieza first, who is Int. So we're gonna go for our Extreme Fizz team here, or maybe I should do Super Fizz, since 
It seems like there's less enemies than normal. Let's do extreme phase. Maybe we need super phase. I don't know. Okay, so cooler, uh, freeze. Not nah, sorry, not freeze. <laughs> I have a uh, wicked bloodline on my mind right now. Cell, I want to sell, and then uh, we'll go for whoever. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do let's do two Brolies. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, start. I feel like I've wasted a lot of time just like misclicking things or taking too much time like selecting my team. But that always happens, actually. My brain just sometimes takes a minute, and it's been a long day, actually. I spent, like, a good, I don't know, three, four hours um, putting together that collab video from earlier today. Uh, not because, like, there was a lot of edits, because, you know, it wasn't, right? There wasn't a lot of edits, but it just takes a long time to, like, put everything together, because there's so many assets, there's so many, like, clips and, like, videos and stuff to, to put together. And it also like slows down my computer. I probably need a new computer actually for editing if I'm gonna be doing more uh, collabs. Because those collabs, when you have like three, four people with their gameplay, with the face cam, trust me, it takes it takes a while, man. It, it's a lot to, to to handle for my computer. So yeah, I think it might be time for an upgrade very very soon. Okay, now we got King Cold. Super tech, or sorry, extreme tech. So I'm gonna go for our extreme int team here. Oh no, we already use extreme int. Okay, so let's go for let's go for super int, super int. Okay, and we're gonna grab Ojita, uh, Gohan, UI SSBE, and then the Super Saiyan Four and God Ku, and then we'll grab the. Vegito as well. I kind of wanted to bring Hercule because he has been really, really helpful to us, especially for the Cell Max event recently. So I kind of wanted to pay him that respect, but no, it's fine. <laughs> we don't really need tanking right now. I don't think we're going to really take that much damage um, in this entire event, actually. I mean, I, th I, I, I knew it was going to be like pretty chill. I knew it was going to be pretty chill, but this is even more chill than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. We'll see what cooler looks like. Wait, hold on, there must be one more stage actually. Are there four stages? I think it's four stages. Unless, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, if the if the boss we fight next is cooler, then that's gonna be the last enemy, but I think there might actually be four stages to this one, as opposed to three. If it's only three, then yeah, it's very short and we're about to finish it in like under 15 minutes, which be, which would be kind of crazy. But the enemy here is... Oh, it's Trunks. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So we do have one more stage. I'm actually very happy about that. Um, I'm very, very happy about that. So here we go. Let's grab Super Vegeta. Uh, I'm going to bring Ultimate Gohan, Vegito, and let's bring Kaba as well for support. And this should be quick too, because the Super Saiyan 4s will make very easy work of the trunks here. Unless we don't get them. Oh, we do get one of them. Okay, I'll put the Super Vegeta in the first slot so he can take a hit to get some more attack. And then that's a full 24 key Super right there for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which will probably allow him to finish off his son. Some father-son violence right here. But you know, that's normal, um, you know, parents and kids fight sometimes, this is one of those situations. <laughs> Yo, Super Vegeta is a monster, man, this is not even, uh, you know, a full, like, 170 team, or 120, or 200% team, even, right? And, just putting up these kinds of numbers is kind of crazy, okay, never mind, Super Vegeta just soloed his son, just like that. There is a second phase here with the Super Saiyan Goku. I'm going to put UI Goku in the first slot to hopefully get some dodges. I'm not really counting on it, <laughs> but we'll see what he does. We'll see what he can do. So there's three attacks. I want to see at least two dodges. He has a 70% chance, so there's one. There's two. Ooh. Oh, there's four attacks. Never mind. So three out of four minimum. That's actually impressive. Good job, UI. Now your attack stat, your attack stat is not very impressive, but 
We'll allow that. We'll allow that, given the fact that he dodged 3 out of 4. Which is actually above average, right? That's that's more than his average dodge chance, which should be 70%. Sometimes it feels like it's a lot less than that. Especially if we're taking a super, but he actually dodged a super there, so... Gotta give it to him, man. Gotta give it to him, he's putting in work today. He is putting in work today. Can we get a crit here and just finish him off? I don't really want to do another rotation. I'm trying to finish this quickly. Ooh, got the additional normal too. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. So that is stage three. We got one more level to go. How many enemies do we have to face here? I'm guessing three as well. Okay, 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 here we go. Level four. And yep, it's gonna be Piccolo, and we Salsa, and then it's going to be Ula. Okay, so Piccolo is AGL. We're gonna go for our Super Tech team, and of course we gotta include the Bird Coup. So for our leaders, I'm gonna go. Wait, is he a Tech leader? One twenty percent. Okay, so let's go him. Uh, I guess our next best Tech leader would be. And that's probably as good as it gets. Um, uh, maybe there's a better. Nah, it doesn't matter. I don't want to spend too much time here, so let's just go boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, and TN for support reasons. Hopefully, we can get the bird coup to attack a couple of times. Oh, that's a lot of arms. That's that that that's a lot of arms, Piccolo. Okay, bird coup first slot. Lovely, and we're gonna pair him with the. LR Gods, that's going to be a nice 18 key super, that's going to be an 18 key super as well, 24 key actually, and an 18 key super for the, oh no we just missed it, we just missed it, that sucks, that's rough, alright so Bird Coup, it's not going to do the craziest damage, but his defense we know is A++, like he's not going to take any damage here. This is gonna do literally double digits. Oh, I lied, okay. <laughs> so he didn't tank that as well as I thought he would, but that's okay, that's okay. He's still awesome. But yeah, this Piccolo actually hits harder than I was I was expecting. That's uh something to keep in mind, I guess, for the next run, although it's still not enough damage to really make us too concerned. Um, I was really expecting, well, double digits. Like I said, I thought he was going to hit us for double digits, maybe triple digits at most, like a couple of hundred, but no, nah, I wasn't expecting 35k like that. But either way, got him done, one rotation, and now let's fight the Salsa, or Ruler's Armor Squadron. And that's gonna be a Super Fizz team for him. So we're gonna do Super Saiyan 3s. Um, let's just do the uh, Gohan for the other lead. And then we'll grab these guys. Ooh, actually I wanna bring the two Gokus. So let's take out Vegito Blue and we'll bring the two Gokus here. There we go. And yeah, like I said, Cooler is the only one that I was kinda concerned about, but given the difficulty of these guys so far leading up to the Cooler, I don't really think there is much to be worried about, like, at all. Um, but maybe I should just, like, not say anything else in case Cooler kicks my butt, right? Because that would be sad. But yeah, I mean, I don't really think it's going to be that bad. I gotta say, I'm not really expecting much from Cooler now, given how quickly we're getting through these guys. Now we know the Heart Virus Goku is solid defensively. So, oh, eight eight zero zero eight. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but yeah, um, I've put in that number into my calculator a lot as a kid, like in elementary school, middle school, a little bit of high school as well. Yeah, a little bit in high school as well. But um, yeah, it's a funny number. <laughs> it's a funny number. Okay. Anyways, oh, they double super. This is gonna actually do some damage to us. Uh, that's gonna hurt a bit because this guy has like no defense. So, 
Yeah, that was the most damage we took by far in this run so far. And it wasn't really that bad, but, you know, if Cooler is at least twice as strong, then he might be doing like two or three hundred K to us. And that might be an issue, especially if he can multiple super, right, in one turn. Uh, a little bit scary to think about. A little bit scary to think about. All right. Is Goku do your thing? Give me all the supers. Oh, we only needed one more. All right, well, that's it. That's that. Cooler time. It's cooler time. And I believe he has multiple phases. He should go final form if I saw correctly. So as far as his traits, he just has damage reduction, which is normal, can't be stunned, and disables attack and defense reduction. So doesn't seem to really be that special. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for Super AGL to take him on, and uh, we'll do the double Super Saiyan 4s, Gohan, um, UI, let's bring this Goku, let's bring Trunks, and let's do that Vegeta as well. Okay, we're in good shape, we're making good time. I'm going to say less than 20, 23 minutes, less than 23 minutes, and we're good to go. Oh, we got both Super Saiyan 4s. Okay, it's over. It's over. Come on. Uh, only thing that kind of sucks is we can't... Uh, we can't get those AGL orbs for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That would have given him a 24 key super. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, at least we'll, we'll give him an 18 key super. That's still fine. And then uh, I guess we'll give a super to... The Vegeta, no super for the Goku, but not that concerned about him. Okay, so here is a super attack to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He hasn't had a chance to super yet, so that's about what I expected. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Okay, so Cooler hits pretty hard. He does have two phases, so we have to be careful to not take too much damage on the first phase, or maybe he has three phases, no, it should be two phases. Yeah, because after he goes final form, what else is he going to do? It should be two phases. But yeah, we shouldn't take too much damage here, and it looks like that's not going to be much of a concern, because we'll finish him off with the next attack from, well, I guess it's got to be AGL Gohan, since I'm not going to put anybody else in the first slot, it will take too much damage. And I'm going to keep the Super Saiyan Vegeta. I guess we'll just float the trunks. And uh, yeah, that is still some damage. Damn. Cooler does damage. Cooler does damage. He's not... He's not as weak as I was hoping for, at least. Or actually not hoping for. I was expecting. I was hoping for him to be even stronger, to be honest. But there's still one more form, there's still final form cool cooler, so once again, I need to shut up. I need to shut up and just see what he what he can do before I assume he's going to be super easy. Alright, final form cooler time. Final form cooler time, and we do have... Oh, we don't have the active skill. I swear we have the active skill. Okay, so let's put UI Goku there get us some dodges and then wait well, we can dodge right it doesn't say he cancels dodge so I'm assuming he can dodge if cooler cancels dodge oh no he doesn't okay I was gonna say if cooler cancels dodge it would be a little bit unfortunate but it still it wouldn't even be that big of a deal cuz UI Goku can tank pretty well at least on you know not the hardest events in the game, like on uh, Red Zone, he does struggle now. He does struggle now, but a lot of units struggle. It's really only like the, the best defenders in the game that are still, you know, doing really well um, in Red Zone. And of course, the Cell Max event, everyone struggles. Like in the Cell Max event, the Bird Coup and the uh, Final Form Cooler can, can hold their own in certain situations, but it's still something you gotta be very, very careful with. 
right? Like, that cell max event is still ridiculous, guys. It's still ridiculous. <laughs> it's just way too hard. Um, but anyways. You know what's not way too hard? Ultimate Clash. Oh, crap. I forgot to stop the timer. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, my actual time was probably a few seconds less, but it doesn't really matter. What does matter is we got it done. And... I'm happy about that. So that is going to be today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you did as far as your time goes, if you raced me, and uh, just your overall thoughts about this new Ultimate Clash. Did you think it was, you know, a good challenge? Did you think it was too easy? Were you hoping, expecting more? Or uh, do you not care and you just wanted the stones? I think that's going to be the answer for most people. They're like, I don't care. I just wanted more Dragon Stones to summon on the, the Cooler and Goku banners. And if that's the case, then best of luck to you guys. I hope you get the Cooler and Goku soon if you haven't already received them. And uh, we should also be getting top grossing stones probably tonight, if not then tomorrow at the latest, I think. Don't hold me to that, but I think it's going to be in that time range. So yeah, expect top grossing stones soon. Good luck on your remaining summons. Part 2 on the way with more Carnival and Dokkanfest banner combo. Um, I think it's going to be a metal, metal cooler, is what I've been hearing, but no one really knows for sure, but that does seem to be a pretty decent, um, you know, guess, at least, right? And, uh, I just hope we don't get another Goku. I think we have enough Gokus for, for a while, so whatever the other unit's going to be, if, like, metal cooler is going to be the Dokkan Fest, we can't possibly get another Carnival Goku, right? That would just be crazy. But it's Bandai. So anything is possible. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.